Hey everybody! Today we're going to look at this weird thing. This is an IBM 7960 clinical workstation and is one of the stranger items in IBM's PC line. The uh, 7960 is a pretty uncommon unit. They're extremely hard to find because it was sort of experimental. It was a collaboration between IBM and Spectrum Healthcare. And the idea was that you would put a smart terminal in every hospital room, ideally next to every patient. With this smart terminal, you could uh, tie back to a, a central server and be able to access all sorts of database, uh, medical records, and uh, re test results and things like that. Now, yes, it is a strikingly strange design. And, uh, well, <laughs> sharp eyes might notice that the logo is upside down. No, the logo is not upside down. The reason being is this is meant to hang on a wall. And we have a screen and the keyboard. This does indeed have on the back a, uh, a, a bracket to fit into what's called a hill ROM mount. And that's, uh, well, it's one of the standards you might find in a hospital for mounting things to the wall. <laughs> so, yes, right now this thing is kind of on its back and upside down, but it seems to be the best way to, to video it. Now, uh, you'll notice the screen is, er, is a little inset. It is uh, actually a touch screen, and I believe it's one of those infrared beam devices, so you have a, a matrix of infrared LEDs and sensors, so you can get a very, very coarse idea of where someone is touching. And yes, there's a little bit of a slobber guard because, well, hospital fluids. But... It does kind of look like a PC keyboard, isn't it? Well, that's because it sort of is. This is based off of the PS2 line. And we will get inside of it pretty soon and find out that it is indeed a based on a PS2 Model 25. Externally, uh, it's a little stiff. We have power switch there which is not in red, which is kind of strange. And a little door with a floppy. The back. Oh, yeah, I did loosen the cover up a little bit. Well, it more or less does indeed look like a PC, a PS2 on the back. Um, some sort of strange thing. Uh, you'll notice it does have this weird bracket. That is to make sure it never comes unplugged when you don't want it to. This side there's nothing of real interest in. But one thing you will notice is the tag, and hopefully we can get close here to the tag here. Yeah, bring the machine <laughs> to the camera, not the camera to the machine. Manufactured for IBM. I don't know who actually made this. But uh, IBM essentially just farmed the design, the design out. And uh, that will become apparent when I try and open this thing in a few seconds. I will try and pause the camera so you don't hear all the swearing. It's uh, not entirely completely up to IBM's uh, quality. Let's just say that. But let's get inside. Wow, what a piece of junk. Yeah, that case is difficult to get out or get off. You know, PS2s, come on, those things are great cases. You can complain all you want about PS2s, but you know, those things just, you know, you, you, you push the right buttons and you do the right things and everything just falls apart and it just falls back together. Oh, this thing, I was... Ooh, there was bad language. Anyway... Well, it's weird looking inside, isn't it? First of all, well, you can see the, uh, excuse my pointer here, a very non-IBM power supply here. It's just an off-the-shelf, I think it's a power one, 
We've got a very big battery pack here. There's our floppy. Here's the motherboard. And a lot of online references say this is based off of the 30. In fact, I think even some of IBM's documentation even says it's built off of the 30, Model 30 platform. However, that is a, uh, that's a Model 25 uh, main board down there. Uh, there's not much to this. There's no hard disk. Remember, this is more or less just a smart terminal. This board here, with this large ribbon cable, goes over here. That's for the screen and the touch screen. I believe there are a couple of jacks here, which I don't know what those are for. I don't have any information on this, and there does not seem to be any good stuff online either. Um, I cannot tell who actually made this thing. I've looked at this card, and uh, it just says Assembly PRC7247. Well, I don't know what that's for. But, uh, yes, a, a very unorthodox bunch of innards to this thing that clearly are not very IBM-like. Uh, this, this goes to the keyboard here, I think. Um, this does also have a keyboard, uh, a standard keyboard port on, on, on the rear, just as the Model 25 did. It's a, it's a Model 25 board, so that stuff was already mounted. I'm sure IBM just pulled off uh, a, a bunch of Model 25 boards uh, out, of, out of stock and sent them to whoever made this and uh, start with these guys. <laughs> Um, like I said, I don't think they did a very good job, whoever this was, because it does not fit together that well. Now, um, yeah, there's not much to this because, well, like I said, it was just intended to be a smart terminal. So uh, let's try and power this thing up. Once again, I'm going to pause and try and get this thing back together. So, well, you won't get to hear any bad language. Okay, we're going to turn this thing on. Sorry, I have to handhold this thing because essentially, unless it's on a desktop like this and on its back and upside down, it really wants to be mounted to the wall on that Hill ROM clip uh, because stuff gets in the way. But let's turn this on. There we go. Oh, yeah, this is a little flap. It's got the uh, brightness and contrast. So it's booting up. There is a flaw in, you can see a bit of a line in my LCD here. Yeah, this is early LCD. And it looks terrible. And it's got all sorts of speckles and things like that. Almost like a cataract, uh, cataracts for this. You know, normally you think of cataracts on old CRTs, but yeah, if you look, I don't know if you can see, but there's all sorts of specklies and stuff like that on there. Anyway, yeah, as normal, this thing is complete, complaining. Now, do you want to focus or not? There we go. And, uh, well, one of the main, one of the problems that you will find if you ever come across one of these things is the keyboards never work. Uh, I'm not sure why, but everyone I've ever come across, the keyboard is dead. It, it just does not want to respond. Uh, however, hey, because it's a PS2 Model 25 board, you can plug something in. You can plug in any old keyboard, which I have done. So, and there we go. It is wanting a floppy. And, uh, well, I do not have that floppy, nor do I have <laughs> the uh, server or anything like that from the Spectrum Healthcare software to run this thing. So, that's about all I can do with it right now. I suppose you could probably try and boot this thing up to to uh, IBM DOS or something like that. Uh, throw in a, a Model 25 um, maintenance disk uh, floppy. Who knows? But I don't have one of those things on hand right now. So this is about as far as it goes. But yeah, eh, no fun. I don't know. I don't know why the keyboards seem to die on these things. The place I got this from... Um, it was a, actually, a, 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 I got it from a widow of a doctor who, who maybe he used this back in, in the 
I think this was in 1991 is when this thing came out. Uh, he had spare keyboards, uh, or I don't know if they were spares or they were parts keyboards. I probably should have grabbed one, but oh well, I wasn't thinking at the time. So, uh, yeah, because this is kind of a odd keyboard. Yeah, yeah so you, uh, you keyboard guys out there, if you need this for your collection, yes, I will sell this unit for $18,000. No, you can't have it. Uh, <laughs> anyway, that's about as far as I can go with this uh, 7960 clinical workstation. Not much of a workstation, really just a terminal. Yeah, kind of a neat terminal, but, uh, well, what can you do? Hey, I don't really want to test this thing out. I don't want to be in the hospital. All right. Well, I hope you guys like this video. And... Uh, well, yeah, leave a comment or if you've ever used one of these things or even if you have one of these. Like I said, they're pretty uncommon. I've heard that there were only about 400 of these things made. All right. Oh, hey, you know, I've got a, a, a Twitter account. If you want to follow, so when you see me uh, make videos, yeah, kind of infrequently at times because I've been very busy lately. Yes, follow me, Uniservo. Okay, guys. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.